regards to our work with uh, 5G, um, so my research is built around trying to answer the basic question, can we understand or better understand the state of our infrastructure? Now, we are looking at it in my group through the lens of technology. And one of the major challenges we are trying to address is with a lot of these very high resolution, high bandwidth devices that are sensing devices, I mean, that are being developed and being deployed for asset inspections and management. Through 5G, we are trying to bring that closer to the field, closer to the inspectors, so that we can do things that we initially thought was only possible in a laboratory or in very controlled office type settings out into the field. So we are really bringing 5G to understand and translate many of the processes into the field so that we can better maintain, better inspect our infrastructure. I think, uh, I think that, that that aspect of real-time intelligence or immediate intelligence is so crucial because until now, what we do is we go out into the field, we collect some data, come back to the office, and maybe process this data days or weeks later, right? And there's a problem. It takes a lot of time for it to be remedied. Then you have to send a crew out into the field. But I think with a lot of this 5G technologies, by bringing a lot of heavy computations that are often required to be able to process this information from data to knowledge, we're able to bring a lot of those resources and that intelligence right to the place where we need it so that we can go and inspect some things a little bit better based on the intelligence we have gathered right away rather than wait weeks or days after the fact. With Rogers, I think uh, the way I, I characterize what this partnership and this infrastructure actually brings to us is so far we were able to imagine what we could be doing if this infrastructure were to be available. As with 4G and 2G and 3G, you always find applications and use cases follow the technology, right? So in other words, the experience follows the technology. So what I think we were thinking about during the 3G and 4G era about the experience that, for example, a, a, an asset manager would get if such a technology were to be available, finally we are able to emulate and simulate and actually use them with 5G infrastructure to see if many of the assumptions we have made are still valid or do we actually have to do some more development to be able to realize these goals. So I think in terms of learning, it has been tremendous for me because you get to see a whole part of the operation that you're usually opaque to. In other words, when we work with the vertical applications like I do, we don't see, we just take these, uh, this infrastructure that's supporting it for granted. And we start to sort of be agnostic to what that is, but once such a partnership exists like we have with uh, Rogers, we're able to understand some of the practical limitations of using, for example, the low band, mid band, and the high band uh, uh, of, of 5G, so that we understand some of the limitations, some of the use cases that we thought might be useful, may not be, or may not be practical. So there's a lot of learning that is going on just by interacting with people who provide these solutions, which is actually a very rare opportunity because we don't get to interact with, with, with such providers in our, in our regular course of research. I think what we are doing is futuristic. It is uh, opening up new horizons, uh, a new ways of seeing things, and new applications that many have not thought was possible before. And I think if we are successful, this is this investment is, will 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 repay itself multifold in the years to come. My name is Sridham Narasimhan. I'm a professor in the civil and environmental engineering at the University of Waterloo. I'm working with Rogers in the area of smart infrastructure enabled through 5G. We will ensure that what's impossible today won't be tomorrow. This is the next generation of possible. This is 5G from Rogers.